Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the playlist in the description of this video to catch you up on the previous video. Today we're going to be looking at creating teleporters in Doom using the Eureka uh, Doom Editor. We are um, Doom, you know, is known for having its teleporters as part of, you know, a big part of the game. So let's go ahead and create a teleporter and teleport from one room to another. First thing we're going to need to do is create a second room uh, that we can teleport to. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit V to go into vertices mode and I'm going to go space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar and I mean that not that it matters, I'm going to make the rooms both the same size. Okay, so now we have two rooms but they're not connected so I can't get from this one to that one so what we're going to have to do is create another sector inside this sector. So again V and I will draw a little sector there and I can teleport them anywhere in this sector I want um, but it's nice to have a landing pad, a teleport landing pad, but we'll do that in a moment. For right now, let's go S into sector mode, and real quick, let's change the um, textures here so it looks like a teleporter. Let's hit tab to go into 3D mode, preview mode, and there we go. I'm going to hit uh, period once or twice and the left bracket, square bracket once or twice to bring the ceiling and the floor up and down. And now we have a little teleport, but it doesn't actually teleport you anywhere. Well, the way teleporters are work is that the walls, the lines that you cross, are what teleports you. So I'm going to go L into line mode. And it's very important here. Again, the lines have two sides, and one of them have, have a line coming out of them. That's the front side there. And it's when you're walking through it that way that it will teleport you. Uh, that way when you, let's say you land on the teleporter, you can walk off it without being teleported and then you can walk back on to be teleported. If it teleported you either way, you'd never be able to get out of this little teleporter platform because you'd be teleported back and forth. So there we go, we have that. We're going to go choose and now we're going to say teleport and we have some options here. Uh, you may or may not see all these options. See a lot of these say boom on them and that's because that's the port of Doom I'm using. You'll probably just see if you haven't cho chosen or depending on what uh, port of Doom you're using, you'll see these first um, four. Uh, all of them are walk through and then you have walk through once so it will only teleport once and then stop or R for repeat so WR is report and then, and then you have whether you're, it will teleport uh, monsters or not. So let's go ahead and um, just choose repeat walk through here but where is it going to teleport you to well let's go uh, over here to tag and set this to one you just want it to be a unique number and then s for sector mode and i'm going to choose this sector over here and i'm going to choose one again making sure you click out of that box or it may not save that but where in this box is it going to teleport you well you need to put down a fog element so let go uh, t and then anywhere in this room We'll go ahead and just go right there in the center. We will say all, and up here I'm just going to type in F, and here you can see T fog for teleport fog, and that is where it will teleport you. Now, again, the arrow here is which way this element is facing, and that's the way you'll be facing when you walk out of this teleporter. So if we want to be facing up, we'll be facing up, down, you know, left, right, diagonal. We'll just go up like that. So I should be able at this point to go Control S, Control T to save and test. And here we go, and when I walk over here, I should teleport. Perfect, but how do we get back? Well, easy, we will quit out of this. I'll come over here and let's go ahead and create a teleporting pad over here. Again, you don't need a teleporting pad, that's just more uh, for looks, but I'm gonna go V and I'm going to draw a larger box here. And I'm going to choose this for the ceiling and ground. And again, to move my uh, 3D view over here, I can either come through here and just walk through the wall till I get over there. Or in this view, I can go ahead and hit the apostrophe tab. Now I'm in this room. There it is again, period to move the ground up and down. Or of course you can do it over here and the ceiling can come down. Now I did a little four part teleporter here. It's all gonna act as one teleporter. Um, but here's the thing, if I want to be right in that center of that room, it's all, you know, again, design issues. Uh, but if I was to, let's move our grid here, put this, um, not lined up like that, that's what your teleporter is going to look like. So the way this room is lined up, let's go ahead and just go line. If I was to move my walls like this, that's what my teleporter would look like. And well, I guess that looks okay, but it's not really 
how I envision it with the circle in the middle. Um, so to get that to line up, you've got to have uh, the sector lined up. Because as far as I know, you can't adjust uh, the ceiling and floor flats uh, like you can wall textures because they're just... Yeah, so I could move this whole sector like that if I want to have a teleport right in the middle of the room. So that's another option. So again, let's go into sector mode. Now we have two sectors here, this big one and the small one, both with the tag one, which isn't hurting anything. But let's go ahead and remove the tag from this uh, larger room. We should now still, oh, yep, save and test, control S, control T. And now I should be able to teleport to that little platform there. It does not bring me back though, to bring, to teleport back, I can go into line mode, select just the lines here, or if I hit sector, I can choose that sector and then hit L and it will select all those walls for me. Let's go ahead and say two, and then we will choose to teleport repeat. And then over here, we're gonna go back into sector mode, choose this sector, make sure we unselect the other sector, choose this sector, and I must have had that sector selected before. We'll make that two. So this is sector two, and this is sector one. And if we highlight, you see when I highlight one of these walls, these lines, you'll see the sector over here light up. And when I highlight, up the light, highlight these lines, that sector is going to light up a different color. Okay, we still need to put our fog in there. So T to things, spacebar to place something. We'll choose our fog there. And I think I did everything. Let's go ahead and save that. So now I should be able to teleport. And then when I get off, I can get back on and teleport through again, and teleport through again. And again, because it only teleports when you walk through the line there that's pointing out, it doesn't teleport me when I walk off the platform, but only when I walk back on. Now, uh, what we could do, let's go ahead and just sector mode. And I'm gonna select this whole sector here, control C, I'll place it up here, move it so the ground texture lines up. Let's go ahead and make some changes here. I'm gonna choose this sector here. I'm gonna go fresh to give it a sector of three. Now I'll come back over here, choose this sector and its lines and change that to three. Now, uh, so now I should be able to teleport from here to here and from here to here. And now let's choose these lines here. So I'm gonna to tab to unselect, choose that. And I choose that, I think I set that to two if I remember correctly. And if I did that properly, now let's go ahead and move this one down in this corner here just so we have a visual when we move out. And actually let's, let's change the wall textures so we know that we're in different rooms. We'll change it to that. We'll select all these and change them to that. So now I did everything proper. I should be able to teleport to here. And then from there to, oh, to there. I thought I changed that wall texture, but apparently I made it the same as the other one. Let's go ahead and, oh yeah, I have them all selected. You gotta make sure you deselect things when you're selecting other things. Let's go L, see they're still all selected. Select this, L, and we'll make that a red brick like that. Okay, just gave them different wall textures so we know when we're in different rooms. I should be able to teleport to the brown room, to the red room, back to our original gray room, and I can just keep going like that over and over again. Now, Let's go ahead and add some bad guys here. Uh, actually, no, I'll talk about that. Well, no, we'll, we'll, we got time. We got another minute or so. I don't, I don't like these videos getting too long. Uh, let's go ahead and put a wall texture here, uh, or a sector here. It's gonna be an invisible sector. You're not gonna see it in the game. I'm gonna go lines, and I'm actually going to hit W to reverse those. Uh, and then I'm going to give them a sector of two and say that they will teleport and I'm going to go things and I'm going to put an enemy in there. Monster. I'll just put an imp. Ooh. Now let's see what happens if I come through here. He teleported. So he teleported to, oh. He teleported back. <laughs> so, so that teleporter works for him. But if I come in here for some reason, I don't want it to teleport bad guys. So I want to teleport somewhere, but I don't necessarily want the bad guys following me. I should be able to come in here and choose this option here. 
Now if I come through here and I come over here and he sees me. Oh, that's right. Uh, I said that backwards. That's a teleporter that only teleports bad guys. Uh, you can also do it the other way around. I'm pretty sure. Um, but that way, you might have... You ever have a level where you go and there might be... Oh, I'm sorry. I had to shoot him. Uh, a door opens and you see bad guys in front of you and all of a sudden they teleport behind you. Well, that's how you do that and you don't have the player teleport when they walk through. Uh, there's other options here depending on your port of doom. Uh, these top four are... You know, like the traditionals, I guess I would say. Again, all these say boom on them, so it's depending on your port, which I'm using PR Boom Plus, which is why I have that chosen. I'm not sure. I haven't played around with a lot of different ports. PR Boom Plus is what I've been using for years. Or PR Boom, I guess they're slightly different. Anyway, that's teleports. We're going to play around with that a little bit more uh, with enemies teleporting to you uh, when something happens. So we'll talk about that in the next video. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying these videos and I hope that you have a great day.